Hello my dear friends, my name is Harold and welcome to the Sanctum. In this video we are now going to be talking about the Metatron's Cube Ritual, which is one of the most powerful protection exercises that is a form of angelic invocation. So you'll be calling upon angels to protect the directions, creating a Metatron's Cube around you, encasing you protecting you from all negative influences of all kinds. So now this particular technique, which we're just about to dive into, will be using a god name known as E-R-O. This is a Gnostic name for the divine. And it's a word of power. So I've already made a video in the past about words of power. You can find it on a link up here. And this is an incredibly powerful divine name which we are going to be using to bring forth angelic powers to guard the four directions around us including that which is above and that which is below encasing us in Metatron's cube okay so this is how it's done so start by standing up straight closing your eyes taking a few deep breaths in and out to relax yourself. And then I would like you to open your eyes and look up. Now you want to chant out loud the divine names as well as the names of the specific angels that will be guarding the particular directions. So you want to face upwards, look out to the ends of the universe. So imagine that you're looking all the way out into the depths of the universe right to the end of space and you want to call out you imagine that your voice is calling out to the highest planes in existence and you want to say in the name of e -a -o, I call upon the Metatron to guard the above and imagine a brilliant golden angel coming down bringing forth a golden kind of roof or slab that's going to be placed above you. It's almost like the top of a cube, kind of like a square slab that's going to come down and encase the, the above, creating almost like a roof above your head made out of golden light. And then you want to face downwards looking all the way to the bottom. Obviously, underneath the earth is space. So right the way down to the ends of the universe at the bottom. So you want to look down and you want to say, in the name of o -A -E, I call upon the Sandalphon. And you want to imagine a brilliant angel manifesting itself from the bottom bringing forth a golden slab, very similar to the one above, from below, and being placed under your feet. So now you've got a flow, and you've got a roof, made out of golden light, which these two angels are holding in place. Now you want to look in front of you. And one important thing I want to mention is you want to face east when you're doing this, so you're looking up, you're looking down, invoking the two angels, and now you're facing the east, which is in front of you. And you want to look to the distance right to the ends of the universe and call out to the ends of the universe. And you want to say, in the name of Aoi, I call upon the Raphael. And you want to imagine a brilliant yellow angel approaching you from the distance, bringing the first wall made out of golden light in front of you. So connecting the above and the below with a wall in front of you made out of golden light. Now you want to face to the south. Now I'm not going to be facing to the south, but when you're doing it, I would like you to face to the south. So you're going to face the south 
and imagine that I'm facing the south now and you want to look out to the ends of the universe in the southern realm and you want to say in the name of I -O, I call upon the me and imagine Archangel Michael, a brilliant red angel holding a flaming sword, is bringing another golden square to create a second wall on the southern side. And now you want to face to the west. So in other words, if you are facing east, you want to look behind. I would like you to imagine that I'm facing the west. You want to look to the ends of the universe and say, in the name of E -O -A. I call upon the Gavriel and imagine a brilliant blue angel holding a large golden cup or chalice appear before you with another wall made out of gold creating a wall behind you. And finally, you want to turn to the north and call upon the final angel, which is Uriel, to create the final wall encasing you in a cube. So you're going to turn to the north. So imagine that I'm facing the north. Look to the ends of the universe in the north and say, in the name of Oia, I call upon the Uriel. And imagine a brilliant greenish brown angel holding the book of nature so like a very foresty naturey looking book appear before you with the final golden wall to complete the cube so you are now encased in a golden cube so now you want to face once again the east you want to put your hands together in this particular mudra and you want to say, facing the east, imagining all six angels around you and this cube around you, you want to say, a cube within a cube, a world within a world, may I be completely protected. Amen. And it's done. Now, when doing this, you may see various lights, you may have various sensations you may even feel like you are protected and encased in a very protective barrier around you so this tends to last at least in my experience about 36 to 48 hours so it's good to repeat it daily or once in two days but if you do this every day for about six to eight months if you do it every day without fail it will become more or less a permanent thing because you will create these barriers more and more and more every time you do it, it becomes more of a real thing in the astral so if you do it for six to eight months you will have a very powerful protective barrier around you and this can protect you from you know negative energy of other people from people who are trying to drain your energy or that it can protect you from vampirism it can protect you from uh, 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 negative entities from uh, psychic attack and it can even protect you from bad luck and jinxes and hexes and curses and this sort of thing. So do it daily and I hope you find it useful. And if you enjoy this video, I would like you to check out this next video on the screen, which will go even deeper into the idea of divine and God names. So thank you, take care, and I shall see you very soon. Peace.